Welcome again to The Old Principal. I am The Old Principal, and this will be lesson number 231. Lesson number 231, a lesson in honesty. Now, you can see this picture. I want to point one thing out because uh, you may not understand what uh, yeah, you may not understand what I'm saying, and uh, it's best to, a picture is worth a thousand words. Is that true? Okay, this is so ho ji. In other words, you put money in and something comes out, right? So this is what we call a vending machine. So ho ji. Okay, in this case, it's zhi uh, bing ji because it's fresh. Ice, huh? Take a bing kwai, okay? Now, do you see this little black thing? The ice comes down this. We call this a chute, C H U T E, a chute, and the ice comes down. And now I'm going to explain this again, but I want you to know that this is a chute, and when you get to that point, you say, Oh, I remember the picture. This is the chute, and you put the money in, and the ice comes down. <clears throat> so, with that, we need to have the story. We'll let Mrs. Ash read the story, and then we'll be right back. Story 231, A Lesson in Honesty. Our weekend fishing trip at the coast had come to a successful end, and the large salmon we caught needed to be packed in ice so they wouldn't spoil during the homeward journey. I was happy Dad asked me to go and buy the ice because I was then 16 years old and had just obtained my driver's license. My brother and I drove over to the ice vending machine. I placed two quarters in the machine, chose crushed ice, and then waited. In a few moments, a bag of ice fell down from somewhere inside. I opened the door to take it out, only to discover that it was smaller than I had expected. I felt that I had been ripped off. I looked up inside and discovered that the ice had been placed on a conveyor belt supposedly out of reach. When money was received, the belt moved forward a little bit, allowing the next bag to fall down. I reached up into the machine and knocked off the next bag. It fell down the chute. Now I had two bags for the price of one. I felt like it was a good deal. After a few weeks, I realized that my, quotes, good deal was really stealing. My conscience was uncomfortable with guilt. In the months that followed, we went to the coast several times, and each time I passed the ice dispensing machine, I felt guilty. I knew that I should pay the owner back, but I was too embarrassed to do so. About two years later, when I was 18 years old, I was driving a big truck for my father, delivering some concrete pipe over to the coast. On my way home, I stopped by the ice vending machine and paid the owner one dollar, which was twice the amount of the ice that I had stolen two years earlier. On my way home, hmm, I felt very good. No more guilt. Welcome back. This is Lesson 231, and it begins our weekend fishing trip. By the way, this is my own story. So, uh, our weekend fishing trip, okay, at the coast had come to a successful end. So, when was it? So more. Okay, this was Saturday and Sunday. Okay, it's the weekend. And what did we do? We went a fishing uh, trip. Uh, okay. At the coast had come to a successful end. 成成功功的, uh, 就结束. 
That means everything was successful. So we obviously, we must have got some fish, as you will see. And the large salmon we caught, and we did. Uh, needed to be packed in ice. Okay, what does it mean needed to be packed in ice? Okay, now why do you have to put it in ice? Our next slide will tell you why. Why? so they wouldn't spoil during the homeward journey. Okay, okay, wouldn't spoil. Just so, 当我们回家的路程,那些三文语不会烂掉,坏掉, uh, uh, okay? Spoil, this坏掉. Okay, so now you understand that the importance of ice, I needed ice. Uh, I was happy that my father asked me to go buy the ice because I was 16 years old and I had just obtained my driver's license. I was 16 years old. How old was I? 16. Gong gong obtained. Just obtained. Gong gong kao shang. Okay. Jia shi zhi zhao. My driver's license. So I was 16 years old. Dad asked me to, 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 to go get some ice. Now, what boy, 16 years old, wouldn't be happy about that. Of course I was happy. That was wonderful. First, my father trusted me. And secondly, I got to drive with the car. In this case, it was a truck. It was a xiaohuozhe, a pickup truck. Okay, going on. My brother and I drove over to see the ice vending machine. Ah, okay, now here we come to the ice vending machine. We drove over. So the ice vending machine. Okay. So an ice vending machine. A vending machine is so and uh, maybe an ice vending machine would be Bingji. Okay, whatever. Uh, you put money in and the ice comes out. So we drove over there. Go ahead. I placed two quarters in the machine. Uh, I chose crushed ice and then waited. Okay, so I put two quarters in. Okay, a quarter is a liang ma wu fen. So uh, two quarters is 50 cents, so wu mao, okay? So I put this money in the machine, okay? And I chose crushed ice, okay? Okay, what is crushed ice? Well, you could say bing kuai, but it's, uh, or you could say sui bing, crushed meaning sui, uh, sui bing, so, I put the money in, and now I waited. Going on. In a few moments, okay, a bag of ice fell down from somewhere inside. So a bag of ice okay, fell down. 从里面的某一个地方, somewhere, 某一个地方, inside, uh, 就掉下来. Go ahead. Go ahead. I opened the door to take it out, only to discover 
that it was smaller than I expected. I felt like I had been ripped off. <clears throat> Several words here. I opened the door to take it out only to discover what to tie. Only tie to discover that it was smaller than I expected. Be was what she wanted. Be was what dung died. Hayao Xiao. And therefore, I <clears throat> felt that I had been ripped off. Now, ripped off. To rip off, this is a It's not high class English, but everybody knows what it means. Ripped off the bay pen or Rinja Jo Tolani the Dong Shi. So when the ice came down there, I felt like I had been ripped off. Uh Dao was a bay pen la Zika Rinja Jo Tola with the Chen Gay was a Puto the Nashia Bing Kwai Tiga Sui Bing uh okay. So I was not happy. Going on. Ah. <sighs> so here's what I did. Being ever resourceful, uh, and maybe not so honest, but at least resourceful at that point, I looked up inside. So I got down and uh, I put my head down. And I looked up inside. Of course, it was dark, so it was hard to see uh, in there. But yeah, in a minute, I could discover, ah, I could see the eyes way up there. I could see the eyes. It had been placed on a conveyor belt. So, Fangzaiga. Chuan Song Dai, Chuan Song Dai. And so uh, it's up there. If you put the money in, then what happens? You put the money in, and that money causes the Chuan Song Dai to move just a little bit, and the bag choop, falls down. So it's a very simple idea. Okay, now uh, it was supposedly out of reach. Okay, they suppose Tama Yiwei sir out of reach. What draw up a dao? Rinja draw up a dao. Ah, well, I was. Small, but I have these long arms. And so I decided to do something. Not a good idea, but I was learning. Go ahead. When my money was received, like I ex ex told, told you, when the money was received, the belt moved forward. A little bit, and it allowed Do Rong the next bag to come down. So, going on, I reached up there. So I said, "Well, I think I can do something about that." So I got down, 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 and then I put my arm inside there, and I put my hand up, 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 and guess what? I could touch it. I could touch it. And so here's what I did. I knocked off. Chiao Kai La. The next bag. And guess what? Going on. It fell down the chute. Remember what I explained? What is a chute? A chute is that thing that's like a guan dao. Okay, it's a guan dao. And so the ice comes 
the bag of ice comes down, 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 down this uh, uh, chute. Now, I had two bags for the price of one. Okay. Uh, you sometimes you <clears throat> see. Okay, so uh, my yi song yi. Well, of course, this wasn't their idea, but the fact is, I paid for one, and how many did I get? Two. Now, I thought this was a good deal. What is a deal? A deal is a transaction. Or you could just say, it was a good deal. Sometimes we have that meaning, hey, it's a good deal. Okay, going on. After a few weeks, I realized uh, that my good deal was really stealing. Now, notice that here I have good deal in quotation marks. Because originally, I felt that it was a good deal. But it was really what? It was really stealing, so told out. And I, I didn't realize it. I didn't even think about it at the time. But later on, I started to feel uncomfortable going on. My conscience was uncomfortable with guilt. My conscience was uncomfortable with guilt. First of all, what is a conscience? We all have one. Do you have a conscience? Of course you have a conscience. We all have a conscience. Now, not everybody's liang xin conscience is the same. So some people think something is bad, some think it's good, it's okay, and so on. But my conscience started to feel uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable with guilt. Yo ni jiu. Ni jiu. Guilt. Uh, or zui er gan. So uh, obviously I'm not feeling too good. Now I had a problem. In the months that followed, I went to the coast several times. When I say I went to the coast several times uh, because I was driving a truck for my father. So I'm driving this truck and I go over to Haibian Coast, to Haiyan. So I'm going over there to Songhuo to deliver uh, well, concrete products, uh, pipes, uh, all sorts of stuff. So here I am. Uh, and I go to the coast several times. But as the story says, uh, and each time I pass the ice dispensing machine, uh, what is an ice dispensing machine? An uh, ice dispensing machine is uh, 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 but this is Anyway, you put the money in, the ice comes out. It dispenses, it gives uh, the ice. And each time I passed this ice dispensing machine, I felt guilty. What is it? Nejo. Nejo gan. 
I knew that I should stop and pay the owner and solve the problem. I, I just feel, felt like I should uh, admit my problem and uh, give, him, uh, give him the money. But, what does it say here? But I was too embarrassed to do so. Part of the problem was uh, because, um, first of all, it was just embarrassment. Uh, okay? And I just didn't want to do that. And the second thing is that often uh, I was driving my father's truck. 我爸爸的公司的车子，我是开他的，啊，这个也也不好意思呢。So uh, I just didn't want to do that. It would be embarrassing for my father's company. Uh, dung dung. <coughs> now you say, oh maybe you say 这个小事情啊，五毛钱啊，算不了什么。But still, this is the way it was back then. I felt guilty. Going on. About two years later, when I was how old? I was 18 years old. This is two years later. I was 18 years old going on. I was driving a big truck for my father, delivering some concrete pipe over to the coast. So here I was. I was driving uh, this big truck, I was 18 years old, uh, and I was delivering some concrete, it was a song hoard, uh, song concrete pipe, concrete pipe, we, made, we had a concrete pipe company, we made concrete pipe, and so I went and I went over to the coast. What is the coast? Coaster high bin to go high on. Let me see. From our house to the coast where I went was about um, oh maybe uh, with a big truck at least maybe two hours drive. Two hours drive. A car would be faster. So so it was uh, quite a long distance uh, going on. On my way home, I stopped by the ice vending machine uh, and paid the owner one dollar, which was twice the amount of the ice I had stolen two years earlier. Okay. On my way home, I stopped by the ice vending machine. Okay. The Laoban actually is a Jiao Zhan. So it was sitting there uh, behind a, uh, 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 a gas station, Jiao uh, Zhan, okay? So I paid the owner, Ren. I gave him, how much did I give him? I gave him one dollar. Now, how much is one dollar? One dollar was twice the amount of what I had stolen two years earlier. Okay, it was 50 cents. Now I, I bought, I gave him one dollars. Uh, dollar. Go ahead. On my way home, I felt very good. Why did I feel good? Because there was no more guilt. You know what? From that time, I learned a very important lesson. And to this day, uh, I 
have remembered that lesson. If you are uncomfortable, if your conscience is uncomfortable and you feel um, uh, guilty for anything, solve the problem immediately. There's two reasons for it. Of course, the most obvious reason why you solve the problem is because then you become a happy person. You don't worry about this. You don't but think about this uh, because you have peace. You know that you are, you have a good relationship with others. You have solved the problem. And that, that gives you peace. Also, there's another way a reason is because it's very important to not keep building this guilt inside. When, uh, when you have this guilt and this guilt and you, you keep repressing it, repressing it, repressing it, then later on you start to forget. And this is not good. So, from my earliest years, when I had my earliest years, I was 18 years old, I started to learn the lesson. If you have a problem, solve the problem early, and you will have peace and happiness, and you will be a really, really excited uh, person and life will go well and you won't have any guilt. Oh, looks like we're running out of time. We do have an email address, theoldprincipal at gmail.com and our website is www.theoldprincipal.org. Hey, it's been great to spend uh, these few minutes with you and I hope you'll join us with a friend next time for another interesting lesson with Lao Xiaojiang. Until then, bye-bye.